in dangers of electricity children that electricity you know is good for all of us in terms of uh, technology that we can use this zoom and online classes due to the electricity available you know that the battery gets we need to charge our laptop batteries and you know the importance of electricity in our day to day life the time has gone you know that the the time of uh, adams and eve that time has gone and now without electricity it is very difficult very very difficult that uh, we can do any kind of work so but you know children that as we are completely dependent on electricity but working on electrical appliances we have to be very careful you know there are certain electrical hazards while we are working on electrical appliances for example children if it fault if there is some fault happens and fault happens due to any other any reason suddenly a a short circuit may take place or maybe suddenly you know a huge current can flow through in any circuit and that may cause it may spoil our devices there are chances of you know electrocutions there are chances other kind of uh, overheating of device and then finally overheating of devices may cause uh, electric fire at some work places now the first thing the problem with electrical appliances is our children listen carefully this most of the part of for today's discussion is a theoretical part theoretical part and the questions come from this discussion what we are going to discuss here damaged insulation you know children in every kind of conducting wire i want to show you uh, okay i can't bring my laptop wire here okay you are aware about that wire uh, this this wire okay let me take this wire uh, basically this this wire is a laptop it is a laptop charger wire and which operates on dc but you know that if consider that this is a wire that the wires which are making that this electric fan and at the back of my uh, that there is ac so in this wire that the alternating current is flowing and suppose if the outer layer of this wire get damaged means if you remove this insulation if you remove this insulation and if you touch if you touch this wire then what happens to them you know what happens you get electric shock you get electric shock and sometimes that the electric shock it may be so high that even we can lose our life means we can die we can die so we have to very careful children when we are working on the electrical appliances especially that electrical appliances those are operating on alternating currents and especially all things in our houses whether we are working on the microwave ovens we are operating uh, suppose our mothers and uh, you are working in kitchen electrical uh, grinders our uh, juicers are there we use uh, all these devices they work on the alternating current acs room heaters room heater definitely room heaters in cold countries uh, they use high power high current and uh, other devices refrigerators we don't need to touch refrigerator even that the our ceiling fans door uh, table fans and the electrical sockets so these are the things that we have to very careful children and even we have to make our parents our mother our sisters and um, our siblings that they avoid to touch any wires without proper precautions children now the next point children overheating of cables yes anirudh please sir is it possible that uh, a laptop charger can conduct can use alternator alternating current 
actually this uh, uh, laptop batteries you know they it, these get charged with the help of uh, actually we have connected the adapter to our alternating supplies but you know that in the left adapter let me show you this this adapter i have never opened it never tried once my laptop get broken for then i will try to open this what is inside it actually so there are certain components definitely that which converts the alternating current into the direct current so due to that di direct power supply that the laptop battery get charged so that's why you know even if i touch somewhere this wire inside if if i uh, make it broken so i don't think that i will get a fatal electric shock because it is a dc power supply and low a dc power supply even though that the high dc power is also harmful for all of us and even you know that the battery cells if we have a small electric circuits i have connected a two cells three cells four cells five cells uh, i have a 5 volt battery 9 volt battery 10 volt battery so with the help of that 9 volt 10 volt battery i am able to make an electric motor to rotate i can make a small electric circuits that i can uh, blow or i can lit a small bulb led bulb but you know if i test the wire uh, so i'm safe uh, dc current at low value is safe but uh, at higher value, you know, inverters, inverters battery, inverter battery, if you have seen children, inverter batteries, inverters are used in a country where that uh, the continuous the power uh, cut are there, but here we are getting the 24 hours uh, power supply. So we are not required inverters, but uh, in India, especially in villages that the people, they use inverters in during the time of elect, um, electricity cut. So inverters, uh, supply the voltage that the electric energy stored in that batteries uh, that electric batteries means inverter batteries are very very harmful very very harmful if you touch you can die on this uh, on the spot so basically children that both ac and dc are harmful for the human being not human being for other um, things also and you have to be very careful yes Anirudh. Sir, I heard that uh, low voltage is also harmful for some people. No, no, low voltage, uh, low voltage, you may get, you know, shock, even that uh, in the electrostatic chapters we have studied, electrostatic, you know, we feel some kind of shock, you know, the electric shock due to the induction, you know, sometimes when we remove clothes uh, and sometimes when we touch metals, so sometimes we, we feel, but it's a very small, it's a very small, you know, and but 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 children that uh, application of electrostatic induction, the char lightning, lightning, you know, in the clouds that the opposite charges are created and that the lightning happens and this lightning happens on a, some human being, then you know what happens, what are the consequences. So uh, at low voltage, we are safe at up to a certain instant, but children that uh, I don't, I, I will suggest you, I will advise you whether it is a low voltage, high voltage, you are working on a small circuit, you are working on a, uh, on a big circuit, you have to be very, very careful, very, very careful. Uh, these are few things, you know, that the electricity fires, uh, they never see phase that, that uh, they will do their own part. Overheating of cables, you know, children, uh, let, I want to show you children that uh, right now here I have, uh, I have this, uh, I'm trying to bring it near to camera. And uh, you can see that I have connected, I have this, uh, uh, what is the name? This is called, uh, what is this called children? Um, extension board. This is called extension board. And here I have connected many plugs. So I have connected laptop charger, Bluetooth connecting here, mobile charger connected here and the fourth point is uh, empty that is i kept for the printer to connect a printer and sometimes you know children uh, we connect so many devices on a single plug multi plug also come in market uh, mobile charger is there laptop is there even sometimes room heater is connected and uh, are, are made or maybe the uh, mothers uh, are they start doing press you know iron clothes so it may cause overheating may cause uh, that this socket it may burn and uh, sometimes during night uh, if this happens overloading it happens and i have placed uh, this uh, extension board on a on a plastic string and plastic you know that it will get 
get heated also and uh, uh, it easily get fire so you know then uh, that is the cause sometimes due to the overheating of cables may cause electric fires at home and the third point children that you have to remember are uh, damp conditions water conducts electricity water conduct electricity impure water conduct electricity and can lead to in electrocution cushion sorry and uh, don't use electrical devices in damp conditions and keep them dry yes never touch any wire with wet hands or even without wearing uh, slippers or or you are standing without standing on any insulating stand so please be very careful and why this why we need to be very active why it is advisable don't touch live wires or electrical appliances without uh, a wet hands you know that uh, wet hands what is a good conductor of electricity and then we can also get electric shocks so these are the things children that these are the small points that everybody is aware about these points but i want to discuss the important topic for today and that is uh, three things that you have to remember children uh, for safety of devices we use three kind of uh, technology the first one is called the earthing wire earthing metal cases second topic which we are going to discuss that the fuse wire the role and the importance of fuses in a in electrical appliances and circuits and the last one is the circuit breaker that is the today's topic children i want to discuss one by one even though that uh, we have already discussed something about the earthing wire uh, and in earth wire is always connected you know that uh, uh, okay uh, just focus on this diagram children even this topic is also given uh, in your textbook uh, uh, that the information is good in your textbook you can also study from there um okay children you know in a three uh, plug pin three pin plug three plug pin three plug pin one then three plug pin so what happened children um in this case uh, some student indian student can understand hindi now we have three wire children in any yeah here yeah. now see i have this uh three pin plug okay Th this plug having three pins so actually basically inside this wire we have three wires inside this wire uh, we have three small thin wires and these thin wires they have their own roles their own significance one is called the green wire green wire children this is called the earthing wire in your textbook children that uh, uh, sometimes in a you know latest technology so they have changed some colors also and uh, uh, in your textbook children if you open that the same topic uh, that there is a diagram uh, of plug and you can find here earth wire it's of a green color as well as of yellow color children yellow and green you have to remember sometimes uh, examiner give question that what is the color of a uh, earth wire so you have your answer will be green color or a yellow color what about the live wire live wire means children that in which the current flow in all wires current not flow only there is a single wire in which current flow children and that is called the live wire l i v e live wire and it is of of a red color and as well as in your book you can see brown color also so red or brown live wire color has red or brown color and then we have a neutral wire for the keeping the zero potential a neutral wire is of uh, what is this color children blue color so blue color and the hair yeah it's a blue color so you have to remember children that the a uh, name of this uh, different kind of wires earth wire of green color or yellow neutral wire with blue color and the live wire is of a uh, red or brown current always flow in a live wire please remember if you touch a neutral wire you won't get any electric shock and sometimes if you have seen that electricians come at your house if there is some problem at a, some fault is there 
uh, we have a device that is called uh, tester, electric tester. So they put the tester in an uh, electric circuit and they find that whether the current is there or not. If the current is there, then some LED, that the light will glow. And they find that, uh, that this is a live wire, this plug, you know, the three pins are there or two pin in, in Indonesia, we have two pins. And so they find which one is the live wire, which is one is for the uh, neutral wire. So that electric tester is used to find out that uh, particular that which one is the live wire, whether current is there or not. So what I was talking about that earthing wire importance, they connect earthing wire in any kind of a three plug pins or a, or a in two pins plug here in Indonesia, if you check that we have two pins plug, uh, but on the third side that the metal is there, a third wire is there. You can see the third pin is there that is directly contact come into contact with the that the uh, how the connection is made here in Indonesia and the earthing is direct earthing is there. So you have to remember that the extra charges that flow to the ground and uh, we are saved by some times unnecessarily current uh, flowing in a circuit. The second uh, device that is used in electrical appliances for the safety of uh, for the safety of our for the human being as well as for the safety of electrical appliances and the name given to this device is called fuse you can see here children on the screen fuse what is a fuse fuse topic is important children i want to discuss a little bit more here on this topic fuse um, so this is a fuse if you go to the market some electrical shop and you can find that electrical this is a fuse in India, that this is just only of one rupees, one rupees, two rupees, or even fifty pesa also, fifty pesa. And uh, in Indonesia, I'm not aware, but maybe around one thousand rupee uh, RP. So it's a very cheap device, children. A very cheap device. Only we have a very thin wire inside. That outside, this is a glass or a transparent glass material. And uh, uh, this is the conducting part. This is the conducting part. And inside this, there is a, a small thin wire. And what are the importance and significance of this fuse wire? Now just see and listen carefully children. A fuse protects a circuit. A fuse has a thin wire inside it and is connected to the live wire. Yeah, this is a question children that you will find in some of the worksheets where you need to connect a fuse. Fuse is always connected with a live wire. You cannot connect, means if you connect a fuse with a neutral wire or with an earthing wire, there is no benefit of using a fuse. Fuse is always connected in a live wire because current flow in live wire. So first point children that you have to remember that these questions come in exams. Where do we need to connect a fuse wire? Live wire, neutral wire, ground wire, or maybe other options. So that remember with the live wire and uh, the value of fuse depends. Now what happens children uh, actually, uh, there is a video yesterday I saw that there is a video. I want to play this video first children then we will come back to the this topic, how electric fuse work. So let me play and uh, I'm going to share sound. It's a short video, children. Please watch it carefully. One more time, children. In emitter, you can see emitter is here. Current is increasing, increasing, increasing. And a stage will come. A stage will come when the current becomes maximum. 
as per the requirement as per this capacity of this fuse wire melts get heated melts circuit broken and it will save power appliances now let me tell you so you have seen children that uh, uh, <laughs> this fuse wire is always connected with the live wire and uh, what happens children if you see that the ac maybe somewhere at the back side of the ac there may be a fuse they have connected a fuse uh, this is a old ac take now the technology that uh, <laughs> in tkc that the old ac is and uh, the new ac is the new technology that there will be uh, fuse wires connected with them and suppose am i audible children yes sir uh, so what happens here if somehow somehow there is a fault in my house in my apartment uh, fault means that unnecessarily higher current start flowing so what happens the fuse gets damaged first and the fuse get damaged first and then it will protect my ac air conditioner to get spoiled so it's that that small fuse of 50 paisa or 50 rupiah or 100 rupiah it saves our electric appliances that uh, ac is you know the cost of ac is of around 5 juta 6 juta 7 juta 7 millions like that so it protects so in any electric circuit children uh, i need to draw a circuit i want to draw a circuit also. and so that you can understand uh, remember children that household circuits i'm using household circuits uh, and for household circuits that uh, we have a ac power supply and suppose i have connected um, refrigerator let me take this is my refrigerator this is refrigerator only one component i'm taking only one component and you know that there is a limit of this refrigerator also that how much current it can tolerate how much voltage it can tolerate that it is always written on the on the device itself that 230 it can operate on the 230 volt it can operate on the on this volt up to 220 230 240 and uh, so uh, there is a limit of current also and i have connected this is a fuse this is the symbol for fuse children this is the symbol for fuse and now suppose uh, this refrigerator can bear a current of uh, 20 ampere let me take just a simple example children. suppose 20 ampere and if i connect uh, 15 ampere 15 ampere range of uh, this fuse is there any benefit of using this 15 ampere fuse here means when a current of 15 ampere pass through this fuse it will break and no further current will pass through the refrigerator even we know that we have this refrigerator can bear a current of 20 ampere so we have to be very wise while selecting a fuse it no, it it not be less than the maximum tolerable limit of any device and uh, not greater than that value suppose if i connect uh, a 30 ampere means that 30 ampere fuse means that it can make 30 ampere current can pass through it but we know that if i use this kind of fuse wire here so what happens the range of my refrigerator is 20 ampere so when a current of 21 ampere will come it will damage my refrigerator so what is the benefit of what is the benefit of using a, a fuse wire so you have to choose very carefully that uh, uh, depending upon the range of current tolerate limit of the device uh, you have to select that uh, fuse wire is this clear children this topic of fuse and this is always connected with the live wire you know the current flow in a live wire current flow in a live wire so you have to connect the yes. with the live wire and uh, so circuit breaker also and actually that uh, what kind of wire is used here in a fuse wire children you just uh, explore a little bit by yourself uh, that uh, the property of the, the fuse wire is that the thin wire is that uh, whenever current pass through or higher current uh, that um, its melting point is actually low. Its melting point is very low. And when there is a high current flow, you know that due to the flow of current wire gets heated 
and then the fuse break the circuit and there will be no any current in that circuit and our appliances will be safe now apart from the this fuse wire that we have circuit breakers children what is the circuit breaker children circuit breakers for circuit breaker children then i have to just uh, pause this recording now here here you can see this this is called the circuit breaker and uh, these are these are the small small these are the mcb mcb that the full form you can check it on internet uh, there are it is written mcb ip mcb ip their numbers are there and uh, i don't want to press it down otherwise that the, all the electricity will go and the internet connection also you know shut down and uh, but somehow if uh, some um, unnecessary some sometimes if there is some high current flow in my in this apartment children then what happens this mcv they they fall down by itself it fall down by itself and it will protect the appliances whatever the appliances you know that refrigerator is there uh, some other kind of printers are there tv are there so it will protect it will protect okay children it will protect the <laughs> appliances at at my home so and practically if you see that this mcb or a circuit breaker you will find uh, you will find here this is a basic circuit diagram of a of a circuit breaker that is the mcb the that the picture which you have means the component that you have seen outside and uh, so inside that mcb that this kind of arrangement you will find electromagnet will be there we have not discussed electromagnet part we have not discussed electromagnet but uh, a magnet is there and on the electro uh, on the magnet a wire is there and uh, spring there the contact is there now what happens children in the electric circuit breaker how does it work uh, when somehow that higher current is flowing in a circuit in any household in any industries and then what happens that what happens in the normal situations in the normal situation children in the normal situation you can see that uh, somewhere the power supply is there the current is flowing current 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 flowing and then uh, going this side that the current into household or business that all the components are working okay fan is there refrigerator is there ac is there all the components are connected now if some sub, suppose high current flow then what happens there again the current is passing through the live wire high current is flowing so due to the high current you know that uh, what happens the wires wire extension take place you know expansion take place sorry expansion is the better word or extension i can also use uh, so uh, wires you know they get expanded so they what will happen here that the spring it may compressed or basically that this contact it's they just get separated it may move upward or it may move downward so that there is no contact in between that and so that immediately the current in this wire it stops flowing and once the current stops flowing then all other devices that we have connected here on this side they will be saved and uh, here in this electric circuits electric circuit breaker are faster compared with the fuse you know in fuse wire what happens uh, they have certain limits they handles they bear a certain kind of current then once that limit is crossed then fuse wire get damaged okay so but electric circuits immediately you know if there is small fluctuations or small variation in a current immediately the mcb it fall down and then we have to go and make it upward maybe uh, some of students you have seen you have experienced at your home also that sometimes this happens and you have to go there and you have to just again you have to uh, switch on mcb is there uh, that's the benefit you know mcb we can use it number of times but in a fuse wire once it gets damaged it gets damaged again you have to buy new fuse wire and it's a low cost device uh, you can buy it any number of times uh, actually that again sit on that i will suggest you for how does a circuit breaker work uh, i will recommend you just uh, try to watch any youtube videos on this i i can't make a youtube videos i can't make a video because i need to buy other all these components from markets from the market even you can try 
and those students who are looking for your personal project you can also try to make some models uh, some electrical devices so that's something was about the children for uh, this topic. Uh, okay, let's discuss some questions. We have three minutes. In three minutes, I want to discuss these few questions here on this topic. Our device is rated at three ampere. What size of fuse should be used to protect it? A device is rated at three ampere that uh, up to three ampere that device is safe, but if the current is more than that, then at that situation, it will get damaged. Uh, I see one answer here. Uh, four ampere. Um, hmm. Yeah, four ampere is the nearby more than three it should be more than three and uh, rated is three ampere. So better to take, if I take two ampere children, if I take a fuse wire of two ampere, you know, before reaching to the maximum limit, uh, means our device is safe if the current three ampere current flow, but when the current is two ampere, so then it, it will uh, fuse wire gets damaged and unnecessarily wastage of money, you know, so around 3.5, you can take uh, uh, even four is also good option here. And next question, name the electrical safety device that is often attached to the metal case of an appliance to prevent uh, electrocution. I think wire, earth wire is used. Which of the following is not a benefit of a circuit breaker over a fuse? Okay, circuit breaker over a fuse wire. They are saying the fuse wire, fuse is better. In what sense? In what sense, children, according to the options? Uh, breaks the circuit before the fault occurs. That I, the point which I discussed, children. Uh, break the circuit before the faults occur. If there is small variation in current, uh, that MCB fall down. Uh, the second option acts very quickly to break the circuit. Can be reactivated using a simple switch. Doesn't need to be replaced. So basic benefit, uh, advantage of a breaker, circuit breaker over a fuse and over uh, they are talking about the benefits of sorry circuit breaker not a fuse wire so it, this is the benefit of what children sorry not not we have to find go to the negative negative not sorry sorry i am making some mistake in uh, reading this question they asked about not a benefit of circuit breaker or fuse This is not the benefit, you know, break the circuit before the faults of the 